Hi everybody, it's Mr. El Camusi. Today we're going to be learning our first set of root words. Root words unit one. Before we get started, let's take a moment to remember why we're learning root words in the first place. Let's recall that all English words greater than two or three syllables contain at least a prefix, a root, and a suffix. Now, prefixes and suffixes are not in every word, but root words are. Every word in English contains some root word. And if we learn the root words, and we understand that big words are made up of smaller words, then we're able to decode words we've never seen before, and understand their meaning without needing a dictionary, and without being confused. So let's get started. Our first of six words for this unit is the word cred. Think to yourself of any words that you can think of that contain the root word cred. Take a moment to think now. Here are some examples of words that contain the root word cred. Looking at these words, or any words that are not on this list that you have come up with, try to determine what the word cred could possibly mean. Cred is a root word that comes to us from Latin. It means to believe or trust. Now that we know the meaning of the root word cred, we can decode any of these words. Credit is basically a noun that means belief or trust. If I give someone credit, it means I give them trust or belief. However, if I discredit someone, it means I don't believe them or I deny the belief or trust in them. Incredible means not able to believe or trust. Sometimes we see something so amazing that it's incredible. We're not able to believe or trust it. Your credentials are the papers or the proof that shows who you are so that people can trust you. For example, if a cop pulls you over because you were driving too fast or breaking the rules on the road, the first thing the officer will ask you for are your credentials. He'll say, license and registration. You have to produce these credentials to show that A, you have a driver's license are supposed to be on the road, and B, that the car you're driving is registered, meaning that you own it, so that he can determine that it hasn't been stolen. Accreditation is the process by which someone gives you credit. AC, the prefix AC, seen in the word accreditation, means to add. So accreditation is the process of adding credit or the process of acting belief or trust. And creed is your belief or your trust in something, such as in the video game Assassin's Creed. Our next root word is bene. Try to think of any words that contain the root word bene. Do that now. Here is a list of some words that contain the root word bene. What do you think bene means based on what you can determine from the meanings of these words? Try to take a few guesses now. Bene is a root word that comes to us from Latin. It means good or well. Now that we understand the meaning of bene, we can break down the meaning of any of these words. Someone who is benevolent is someone who is good or trying to do good. Something to your benefit is something that is good for you or is well for you. Benediction actually contains two roots. The first one is bene, which means good or well, and the second is dict, D-I-C-T, dict, which means to write. Benediction is basically laws that are passed for the benefit of other people. Benign is a word that means something that's harmless or is well. For example, this word is common in the uh, analysis of cancer uh, tumors. When someone discovers that they have a tumor, it's one of two types. Either it's benign, meaning that it's harmless, or it's malignant, meaning that it's dangerous. Later on, we'll find out also the meaning of why malignant means bad or dangerous. 
And the last word on this list is benefactor. A benefactor is someone who does good for others by giving away money or supporting someone. The next word on our list is path. Try to think of some words that contain the root word path. Do that now. Here you'll find a list of some words that contain the root word path. Using this list of words or any of the other words you've come up with to analyze the root word path, what do you think it could mean? Take a moment to think about that now. Path is a root word that comes to us from Greek. It means feelings or disease. Knowing this helps us understand and decode any of the words on this list and any words that you may have written down that contain the root word path. Pathology, for example, is the study of feelings or the study of diseases. Uh, the suffix L-O-G-Y, such as pathology, which is also found in biology and sociology, that suffix L-O-G-Y means the study of. So pathology is the study of feelings or diseases. If someone is pathetic, it means that this person evokes feelings. Now I know nowadays when we say the word pathetic, we mean someone's a loser or someone is, is, is not worth thinking about. But the origin of the word pathetic actually means someone who makes you feel bad, makes you feel sorry. Uh, seeing someone on the street who's a beggar who's starving makes us feel pathetic. It, it evokes feelings. A psychopath is someone who lacks the ability to have feelings. And studies have shown that people who are diagnosed as psychopaths actually have a problem in their brain with decoding feelings and with interpreting feelings. That's why they're able to commit unbelievable crimes and not feel bad about what they're doing, because they lack the ability to feel. That's where psychopath comes from. As for sympathy and empathy, both of these words have to do with us having feelings for others. To sympathize with someone means to have the same feelings as them. If you're watching a movie and you see someone in pain, and you feel in pain, you are sympathizing with them. The prefix S-Y-M means same, so sympathy is sharing the same feelings. The same goes for empathy. A pathogen is a disease. So any diseases, for example, blood-borne pathogens, such as viruses uh, or bacteria, any of these can be pathogens, diseases. The next word on our list is bio. Think of some words that contain the root word bio. Do that now. Here's a list of words that contain the root word bio. In addition to the words that you may have come up with that I have not included in this list, try to determine what is the most likely meaning of the word bio. Do that now. Bio is a root word that comes to us from Greek. It means life. As we discussed earlier, L-O-G-Y means the study of. So, biology is the study of life. Biography contains two root words, bio and graph. Graph is a root word that means to write. So a biography is a writing of someone's life. And that's exactly what a biography is. It's when you write about someone else's life. The biosphere is a science term, and it means all the things that live within a certain sphere, such as the water biosphere, the ocean's biosphere, the jungle's biosphere. This is a place where life is possible, a certain type of life. Symbiosis are things also having to do with the same life, and this is a term that also comes from science. The next word on our list is auto. Try to think of some words that contain the root word auto. Here's a list of some words that contain the root word auto. In addition to the words that you wrote down that may not be included on this list, try to decode what is the most likely meaning of the word auto. Do that now.
Auto is a root word that comes to us from Latin, and it means self. Automatic means able to move by itself. M-A-T, such as in the root word machine, means motion or the ability to move. Something that's automatic moves by itself. An autobiography actually contains three different roots, auto, bio, and graph. We determine that biography means to write about one's life. So autobiography means to write about one's own life, to write about yourself's life. An automobile also means self-moving. For example, cars, when they first came out, were self-moving machines. They didn't need a horse to pull them, or a carriage, or someone to push them. They moved by themselves, and thus were called automobiles. And autonomy is the freedom to govern oneself. N-O-M is a root word that means name or, or owning. So autonomy means making a name for yourself. The next and last root word on our list is viz or vid. Try to think of some words that contain the root words viz or vid. Do that now. Here's a list of some words that contain the root words viz or vid. In addition to words that you didn't include on your list, try to decipher what the most likely meaning of the words viz or vid could be. Do that now. Viz and vid come to us from Latin, and they mean to see. What is visual is something that is able to be seen. A video is something you watch, such as on TV or on the internet. Something that's invisible is something that is not able to be seen. Visibility is the ability to see. If it's foggy outside, you have low visibility, meaning you have low ability to see. And the television used to be a place where visuals were transferred when it first came out, radio was the only way for people to hear things. But when television first came out, it didn't just transfer sound, it transferred visuals as well, things that could be seen and watched. Television means transferring things you can see. I hope this video helped you to understand our first six root words of our word study unit, and I hope that it was of some help to you in understanding and decoding root words in English. Thanks for watching.